So I'm going to visit a gotcha here, uh, a mistake that you might make. Suppose you're asked to prove the recurrence t of n equals 4t of n over 4 plus n. And I'm not even going to write the base case, assume that it exists and it's reasonable. We're asked to prove that t of n equals uh, big O of n, which um, it's not true. So I'm giving you a heads up. It's not going to work. So we're going to look at a fallacy. So here we've got uh, big O of n on the right-hand side, which means that um, t of n should be less than or equal to some constant times n, and it should be positive. And this is true whenever n is greater than n naught. So that's the definition of big O. Uh, plugging that in uh, as our kind of inductive hypothesis, we're going to say that t of n should be less than or equal to c, and here we're plugging it in for n over 4, so c times n over 4. So that's applying our inductive hypothesis. We get the less than or equal to and the c plus n. So that's good. We cancel out the 4s, and we can come up with an expression that c times n plus n, which is fine. And now we'd like to say that that's order n. And we got a problem because, yes, that expression is order n, but we haven't proved what we set out to prove. In fact, the constant in that big O would need to be a different constant than C. Right? We're trying to prove that, the, that there's one C. The C that we chose above is the constant that makes this big O. If we can't find a single C, a single constant, it won't work. And if we were to try to say that the expression above is less than or equal to C times N, that simply isn't true. Um, it's definitely it's definitely bigger than that constant times n because of course n is positive. So in fact this proof won't work. You can't in fact you shouldn't try to throw big O's in here. You, you can't kind of sweep these things under the rug. I'll give you another example of a, a fallacy like this. So we've got another example where we have a recurrence. T of n is equal to 8 times T of n over 2 plus theta of n squared. And um, that theta of n squared means there's some function which is less than or equal to C n squared. We want to show that T of n is equal to uh, you know, big O of n cubed, which means that there's another constant d, and T of n is less than d n cubed for some large n. Uh, writing this out, we have t of n is less than or equal to 8 times t of n over 2 plus c of n squared. And our inductive hypothesis says that that whole thing is going to be less than or equal to d times n over 2 cubed plus c n squared. And that's a less than or equal to sign there. So we have 8 d of n cubed over 2 cubed plus c n squared. 2 cubed is 8. We can cancel the 8's out, and that's equal to dn cubed plus cn squared. And we look like we're almost there. We get to choose a c, but we do have a constraint on how we can choose c. c must be greater than 0. If you can't find a c that's greater than 0, uh, you can't fit it into the definition of big O. So this can't be less than or equal to dn cubed because c is positive. We can't prove it this way.